How do you tow a tiny house? Let's dive right in here. There are two ways that you can tow a tiny house. You have a fifth wheel, you know how the gooseneck goes in the bed of the truck, there's that way, or there's also the way that you would essentially tow a boat with the tongue on the trailer itself. Have the right truck. You gotta make sure you have the right vehicle to tow your tiny house. Our truck is an F-250. It actually has an eight foot bed. It's a diesel truck with a 6.7 liter engine. That truck alone towed our tiny house without a problem. Another important thing was the weight when it came to towing our tiny house. Now we went into the entire build with the goal of getting the tiny house to about 10,000 pounds. Our tiny house weighs 11,000 pounds, 500. Pretty darn close that 10,000 pound weight goal. How do you even like go into that? You know, you have this goal weight and then you have your size, but a lot of that has to do with the size that we chose. We chose uh, to do a 20 foot by eight foot tiny house. So there is a little bit more weight on the tongue and we did our best to distribute the weight evenly throughout the tiny house. It was actually safer to have more of the weight on the front. We actually never had any kind of sway. Even with that slightly higher weight, the truck handled towing the tiny house just great. We got that weight by going to a cat scale. So that was actually the first time we ever towed our tiny house. And that's actually the only time I've driven the tiny house. Super important when it comes to towing our tiny house was having the correct ball and hitch. Greg's actually gonna give a little more detail to that because I really don't know much about that, so. So this is a hitch set up for our truck to tow our tiny house. 10, 12,000 pounds. We have a class e. five Reese hitch. If it's a two and a half inch ball receiver, it has a 13,000 pound capacity and a quarter inch mounting hole. So we used this hitch in this setup to tow our tiny house across the United States and it held up great. This locks the hitch in place so that nobody can steal it. Just like that. So also it has a five inch drop on it. We bought a seven inch drop, but that was just, tiny house is heavy, so it was a low rider. Good on there, This makes it easier to back up and get connected. When we're driving down the, the highway, I set it to 58 cruise control and just let it go. Any faster than that's a little too, little too fast. If semis pass you, I'm in the right hand lane, they're in the left hand lane, they start passing me you could feel it just suck towards them. So you kind of have to, you see them pass, you kind of have to get over to the side of the lane before the draft comes in and just suck you over. So you have to be careful. But that's what happens when you're towing a brick. Another question you might have is, how does it handle? Yeah, it handles really well. I think one of the reasons is it's so heavy. We were in Kansas and the wind started blowing and I felt that you, whoa, going back and forth. So it's like a big sail driving down the road when the wind comes. But again, because it's so heavy, I never was worried that it would tip. The closest time was when we were driving at night, right, babe? And we were going around that curve and all of a sudden it just came up and I had to slam on the brakes and You have those curves, you have those arrows that are showing you and even most of them have like flashing lights on them. Pay attention. Gotta pay attention. Pay attention to the signs that have the, they'll say like a 6% grade up or down. Super important is we always made sure that we turned on our tow haul. We used the auto engine brake. Having the engine brake did handle those mountain roads much better. So the lesson in all that is have the right truck. The height of our tiny house is about 13.2. And we made sure we built our tiny house that it was roadworthy. It's no wider than 8.5. Some overpasses, um, most are like 14 to 16 feet. Then you would have some that were not that high. When it comes to, to driving, especially a rig that's skirting that that height is you gotta be careful of tunnels, especially if it curves, low limbs, trees. So there was one time where we missed our exit. So we took the next exit. This tunnel says 1310. It looks a little intimidating, but let's see if we can make it.
the tiny house still easily cleared it but it was it it just seemed like it was much tighter another quick tip is we always made sure that we had navigation app so i would always punch in our address to that app and it would always take me to like kind of like a truck route or like an rv route just to make sure you avoid those major limbs but sometimes there was a limb and you just had to keep your eyes on the road focus and make sure that nothing was going to clip your rig in our case our tiny house Something else we added, and I do see tiny houses that have that, but if you're building your own tiny house and you're not going through a builder, and you also intend to travel in your tiny house like us, make sure to install lights. Mainly important for visibility at night. So you have the strips on the side, and then we also lined little lights on the side so that as Greg was driving, we could see where the edge was of the tiny house. And we also had a light check we do before we would tow our tiny house. We always made sure that our brake lights, our flashers, our left and right turn signals on the bottom and the strips on the top worked. Super important when it comes to safety. And there was only one time where literally we were getting ready to go and they weren't working. There's a issue with the trailer wire connection to the truck. I'm gonna change this first to see if that helps. All right, so I guess we just, I don't know, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with this. When the trailer's connected, uh, typically in the truck, it'll tell us that it's connected, but before it was connected and didn't say it was, but I just changed it and now it says it's connected. So let's test the lights. Right, what? Oh man. All right, he's gonna turn on the left signal now. <laughs> yes! It was actually really great because we, there were no places in the in the campground available and we couldn't drive so the owner said that we could stay while we got it figured out so we've been playing the part of the park hosts we're in the park host spot so i've been helping people and it's been great is it legal to tow a tiny house on wheels Technically, yeah, I didn't find anything that was like clearly like you can do this or you cannot do this. Tiny house at this time, it's still much of a gray area. It's just about just being a little more adventurous, being a little spontaneous. Um, sometimes do things a little bit outside the box. Because similar to when we literally shipped our car from the States to Europe. And so here we are driving our own vehicle with a Florida license plate around Europe for a year. We are in Austria. As is to show. That worked out so well. I did a video on how we did that. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check that video out. We just made sure when we built our tiny house that it was just slim, it was clean. We fully trusted that our rig was safe because we had the right truck. You know, life is too short to not do exciting things. So towing our tiny house across the country, it's an exciting thing. Another thing is you may ask, did we ever get pulled over? We never got pulled over. I mean, we had everything that we needed. Brand new license plate on the back of the tiny house trailer so that we can officially be road legal and ready to drive this puppy around North America. If anything, um, we got a lot of thumbs up. Another cool thing about towing our tiny house across the country was people took the time just to go on the channel and comment, just to kind of let us know that they saw us. If you're watching, thank you for letting us know that you support us. What we did as far as towing our tiny house across the country is not your typical thing that you do. It's pretty unconventional. Do you have any other questions? Like what do you else do you want to know about whether it's our travels or whether it's living in the tiny house? What would be helpful to you that we could share our experience? All right, so that wraps up this video on how we towed our tiny house across the country.